In this video, I won't be getting into any code, but I wanted to address a topic I have been thinking about lately. A lot of JavaScript developers are self-taught. That is how I learned JavaScript initially. But as I have thought back on that process, I miss some very important concepts. These concepts have made a huge difference in my JavaScript abilities since I have learned them. So I thought I would address what I feel are six JavaScript concepts that you should understand well. Everyone seems to learn the elements of the language, but sometimes these concepts are missed. Now, I suspect many may have opinions that are different from mine. If so, please include them in the comments as I think it will be useful for all involved. So let's jump into the six concepts that I feel are important. I will start with the simplest ideas. Coercion. Though a simple idea, it can mess you up or help you out if you understand how it works. In certain operations, JavaScript will attempt to coerce one data type to another. The equality operators are perfect examples of this. Basically, a good rule is that you should be using triple equality unless you have a reason to use double equality. And the only way you would know that you have a reason to use double equality is if you understand coercion. So that is concept number one. Scope. Scope is important to understand in any language, but sometimes gets neglected or in coming to JavaScript from other languages, certain assumptions are made about scope that may not be true. Now scope defines where identifiers, variables, and functions are accessible. JavaScript uses function scope, meaning the scope is established by functions. However, in ES6 or ECMAScript 2015, block scope was introduced with the let and const keywords. So scope is the second concept that I feel is important to understand thoroughly. Objects are the heart of JavaScript, and to take full advantage of what JavaScript offers, you need to understand them. Most importantly is to understand the concept of prototypes and prototypal inheritance. And even if you use a pseudo-class structure to create objects like constructors or the new ES6 class definition, you still need to understand prototypal inheritance. That is concept number three. The fourth concept that is important to understand is the this keyword. The this keyword can sometimes seem almost mystical in JavaScript. It is important to understand that this is a binding that happens when a function is invoked. And what object that this keyword references depends on how the function is invoked. Understanding those different situations is important part about understanding the this keyword in JavaScript. Now objects are the heart of JavaScript, but the power of JavaScript are functions. In JavaScript, functions are objects and are considered first class. That means that functions can be passed around and returned from other functions. This is a powerful feature of JavaScript. And to take full advantage of functions, you need to understand that feature. An important concept that revolves around functions is closure. Closure is key to taking advantage of the power of functions. And an important construct to grasp that is related to functions are immediately invoked functions expressions. The power of functions is concept number five. Finally, the sixth concept is not really a JavaScript concept, but more of a programming pattern. But I feel the pattern is important enough to include. 
and that is the namespace or module pattern. Now these patterns are closely related and are found in all serious JavaScript development projects. There are multiple variations on the pattern, but you should be using some form of these patterns in your projects. Now with the identifying of these six concepts, I'm not saying that other parts of JavaScript are not important. I'm simply, simply saying that these are important and sometimes get neglected. Now I purposely have not gone into any depth about any concept. My goal was to identify them as important to any JavaScript developer. There are a number of resources if you want to learn more. One resource, our Learn Modern JavaScript courses, spend a good deal of time on these concepts and numerous other topics if you're interested in an online course. Information about those courses can be found at allthingsjavascript.com. Now I hope you found this little discussion helpful. If so, please like the video. If you'd like to add to or subtract from the list, include it in the comments. It will be helpful for others. The All Things JavaScript YouTube channel covers numerous topics in JavaScript, including some we addressed here. You can access other tutorials by clicking the link in the middle of the screen. You can subscribe to our channel using the link on the left side of the screen. And if you are interested in the courses we offer or other resources on JavaScript, you can visit our website at allthingsjavascript.com by clicking the link on the right. Thanks for watching.